Hello, today I'll be exploring the scenario of a population of allosaurs being introduced to the modern-day African savanna. This is certainly a different video than I usually do, but it seemed quite interesting and I thought y'all may enjoy. First let's talk about the center of our scenario, Allosaurus fragilis. This was a theropod dinosaur from the late Jurassic, known primarily from the Morrison Formation. This was an incredible predator. It had a longer tail and legs than many other theropods, with a tall slender head crowned by two small crests above the eyes. Size estimates for adult Allosaurus vary quite a bit. This is in part due to the large population and significant time span in which they lived leading to variations in the population. For this video I'll be using a size estimate of 2 tons for an average adult. Allosaurus in its native Morrison formation would have regularly experienced extreme droughts and high temperatures. It would adapt to the environment of the African savanna quite well. Africa is home to some of the world's largest land mammals, known as megafauna. Among them are elephants, which are the largest land animals on earth. African elephants can reach a staggering size, with males weighing up to 12,000 pounds and standing over 10 feet tall at the shoulder. Rhinoceroses, another iconic species, come in two main types, black and white rhinos. Both can grow to impressive sizes, with the white rhino being the larger of the two, weighing up to 5,000 pounds. Hippos, despite their somewhat deceptively soft appearance, are remarkably large and robust animals, with males weighing around 3,500 to 4,500 pounds. African buffalo, commonly found in savannas, are also substantial in size, with males weighing up to 2,000 pounds. There's also the giraffe, with its long neck and towering frame. The giraffe stands as the tallest land animal, reaching extraordinary heights of 14 to 18 feet, while its weight can range from 2,000 to 3,000 pounds for males, and slightly lighter for females. Africa's rich biodiversity also includes a diverse array of predators, many of which have adapted to hunting the continent's megafauna. Lions, often referred to as the king of the jungle, are apex predators known for their majestic manes. Male lions can grow up to 10 feet in length, excluding the tail, and weigh around 420 pounds. Leopards, highly adaptable and elusive cats, are known for their remarkable strength relative to their size. They can weigh between 66 to 176 pounds, depending on the subspecies. Cheetahs, of course renowned for their incredible speed, have a slender and agile build, weighing around 88 to 140 pounds. Finally, the spotted hyena is a formidable predator, boasting an average weight of 110 to 190 pounds with a stocky build that allows it to hold its ground against even lionesses when in groups. If Allosaurus were introduced now it would immediately become one of if not the largest predator of the Cenozoic, only in competition with Baronisuchus and Arctotherium, the short-faced bear. However if we assume an average weight of 2 tons it would be slightly larger than both of them. It would also be almost 10 times the size of an average male African lion, meaning it would be outside of the size range of lion's prey. Lions have been known to prey on adult giraffes, but these are very difficult hunts and usually only occur when in desperate times or on quite small individuals. Adult giraffes don't get as large as adult Allosaurus, and also don't possess the jaws or claws of an Allosaurus. Allosaurus would be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with or take out most of Africa's megafauna, being similar in weight to rhinos, hippos, and giraffes. Elephants, however, are significantly larger and would likely take multiple individuals to predate a single adult elephant. The social behavior of elephants, however, would make this much more difficult. The large coordinated herds females form would make singling out an individual much more difficult, and while the same issues would not be encountered in predation on solitary males, their much larger size, more prominent tusks, and more aggressive nature would cause its own set of problems. With rhinoceros and giraffes, Allosaurus's main issue would have been speed. Allosaurus would have been noticeably slower than giraffes even at top speed would barely be as fast as a rhino. Elephants, on the other hand, would have been well within the speed range of Allosaurus. The Morrison Formation from which Allosaurus hailed was home to many large herbivores that were larger or comparable in size to Allosaurus, 
and it is known to have hunted these from fossil evidence. It's also thought that Allosaurus would hunt in groups, using mob tactics similar to modern Komodo dragons. Allosaurus's interactions with the current predators of Africa would mostly boil down to it bullying them off of their kills. Allosaurus's much larger size in combination with predatory adaptations would make it almost unstoppable to the modern predators. Even young Allosaurus could individually or in groups push any other predator off their prey. The introduction of a new top predator would obviously have massive effects on the ecosystem of the savanna. There would be much heavier predation on adult elephants, hippopotamus, rhinos and giraffes. But since these would be the species Allosaurus would rely on for foods as their populations reduced so would Allosaurus's, until they reached an equilibrium. Lions however could face extinction, the constant bullying they would likely suffer would be heavily detrimental for them. Allosaurus also had a very different reproductive strategy than most modern megafauna, with the only exceptions being crocodilians or ostriches. Allosaurus laid eggs, and likely a lot of them. This would be significant not only in its population dynamics within the ecosystem as it would be able to replenish its population faster, but also significant in its interactions with humans. While human presence is famously horrible for populations of megafauna, Allosaurus's ability to have large batches of offspring relatively frequently would somewhat diminish humans' ability to hunt them to extinction. While it would still be possible they would be much more resilient to human pressure. Some may bring up the extinction of the elephant bird and moa as a counter-argument. But these birds were ratites, and like most other ratites they laid very few but exceptionally large eggs. This means that while they still laid eggs, their population dynamics closer resembled mammalian megafauna. Additionally, since they lay few or even one egg, it made it much easier for all of an individual's offspring to be killed before they even hatched. Allosaurus would not have had this issue due to their larger batches of eggs. Furthermore, Allosaurus would have practiced less intensive and prolonged parental care than modern megafauna, probably even less than modern ostriches or galliforms. Allosaurus would be a serious danger for humans in many senses as they would be able to bypass many barriers that stop the current predators of Africa. Chain link fences and car doors would not stop this two ton hunter. It would have the problem, however, of being a much larger target. Modern big cats can ambush effectively in part because their size allows them to hide in places and not make noises where a predator, as large as Allosaurus, would be revealed. The introduction of Allosaurus into the modern African savanna ecosystem would have massive consequences, altering the entire food web and ecosystem. It would spell disaster for some modern fauna, especially the large carnivores. Eventually the ecosystem would balance out. With a new top predator this would be a very different savanna to the one we see now. Not to mention, it would reintroduce a species of non-avian theropod dinosaur back into our world which would certainly have effects going forward, and would excite many. If you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any thoughts leave them in the comments below. I think this is an interesting scenario, and if you would like more similar videos let me know in the comments. Have a good day everyone.